my children, the door that you have entered and the threshold you have crossed in the spirit cannot be undone by men. In this time of the end of this age, I will show you the way, but you must act upon the things that you read and hear from me. The time of being a spectator is over, and the time of the great harvest is nearly at hand. Your faith must be in me alone, and you must give me all, and hold on to nothing in this world, for it will all be destroyed. Not one particle will be left of what you see around you right now. All will be made new. My children, how do you expect to have strength in the time that is coming without surrendering everything to me? I tell you, you do not have enough strength in yourselves. My children, you have fear and anxiety about the things that are to come because you are not trusting fully in me and you do not enter into focused worship of me enough. Why do you try to make it in your own strength? You cannot. The darkness has increased even now and it is nowhere near what it will be. You must have my strength to make it through what is coming. You do not understand, even though I have warned many, many times, you just don't understand. The disasters and calamities that are coming will overwhelm you unless you let me overwhelm you. I can prepare you for anything that comes. I will even strengthen and prepare you for those that are coming upon the earth that your heart fails you not. You will defeat them if you have faith and do not fear. When I warn, I do not do so to bring fear or to be grievous to my people. I warn because something is coming that you have never seen before. There are many trials, tribulations, diseases, and pestilences, wars, calamities, and destructive events coming, that how else are you going to get through it without being full and overflowing with my Spirit? This is what being baptized in my Holy Spirit is, being totally immersed in me. I want this for all of you. Speaking in tongues is a manifestation of my spirit, as are prophecy, healings, miracles, words of knowledge, discernment of spirits, and interpretation of tongues. I want my beloved to operate in these gifts. They are for the time in which you live right now. Do not fear my Holy Spirit. I would never give you anything that would hurt you. My children, you ask, how is it we will have the strength to withstand the trials and tribulations that are to come? I tell you that I will give you the strength when you spend time with me in praise and worship and seeking my face with all of your heart in humbleness and holiness on your knees and on your face. You must worship me in spirit and in truth. The enemy cannot stand to hear my praise and my worship. He flees. When you worship me, you are surrounded by my holy fire, and the gates of hell cannot prevail against you. I am not speaking of worship merely with your lips, for that is not worship at all. I am speaking of worship that comes from your heart deep within the very core of your being. Offer yourselves 
as a holy living sacrifice to me. This is your reasonable, logical act of worship to me, being obedient to my commands and my word. This can only be done in truth, not superficially, because in the very core of your being, you cannot lie to me. For I know all things and judge all hearts. Nothing is hidden. Even the secret sins that you think you are hiding, they are exposed and they all are coming to light as you come before me in worship. No one can worship the Father when there is sin separating them from him. Confess your sin to me and I will erase it with my blood and remember it no more. It will be as far as the east is from the west from you. My children, you may ask, how do we do this? You must lay everything at my feet and take your mind off of this world for just a little while and focus everything that is within you on me and you will see who I am. My children, I long so much to reveal myself to you, but you need to come to me in this way, surrendering all every day. Don't you see that this is the only way? I long for you. I yearn for you. My heart aches for you to converse with me. I want your fellowship with me so very much. I just want you to want me in the same way. I want your desire for me to be more than anything else in this world or in the next. Many of you wonder constantly, how shall we make it through the times that are coming? I tell you, this is the way you will make it. You must worship me. This is how your vessel and your lamp will be filled with my Holy Spirit. Because if you worship me in the good times and the very bad times that are coming, you will overcome this world. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. For spirit is more powerful than flesh. That is what I have called you to do. No matter what comes, you will prevail because of the strength that I have put in you through the Holy Spirit. You need to surrender all to me. You need to let go and have faith in me and I will catch you and I will lift you up because you have lifted me up before men and you will soar like the eagles in the spirit and you will transcend and you will overcome and I will fill you with my brightness and I will make you shine as the noonday at midnight. These are not just sayings of false hope. This is truth and this is what will happen to those who worship me every day and live their lives as worship to me. I do not just want the morning or the afternoon, or the night. I want it all. I want all of your day. I want you to acknowledge me throughout your day. This is how it must be, my people. Seek me. These are not just sayings of false hope. This is truth. And this is what will happen to those who worship me every day and live their lives as worship to me. I do not just want the morning or the afternoon or the night. I want it all. I want all of your day. I want you to acknowledge me throughout your day. This is how it must be, my people. Seek me. It is coming. It is coming and you need me. 
I have billions upon trillions of angels to worship me. I do not need you to worship me. You need me. You need to worship me. Do not think to yourself that I am vain. I am in need of nothing, but you need what I have. Let me empower you to victory by my spirit. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach.